Dhaka, as we know today, is a few hundred years old city. But before the city was built, this land was bustling with traders, merchants, craftsmen, and other sundry communities. From 18th century, Dhaka turned into a great cosmopolitan trade center. Armenians, French, Portuguese, Greek, Scottish, and English, Afghans and Persians, and traders from various parts of India were stationed here for lucrative trade of mostly fine cotton. The cargo route was through Buriganga, which is still active today. Over the years, the city has witnessed different phases of transformation. Through continuous urbanization, glimpse of old structure can still be found. Wari is the first planned township and one of the oldest neighborhoods in Dhaka. The area was named after the British collector Mr. Ware and was built in the late 19th century. Perhaps the oldest surviving architecture in Dhaka is the 650-year-old Binad Bibi Mosque located in Wari, though it is under renovation and structural changes. The Christian graveyard in Wari is more than 300 years old. Partly ruined, large part of the remaining graveyard carries the European and Christian past of the city. One of the landmarks of Dhaka is Balda Garden. Every day, this heritage garden is frequented by a large number of people. Though it was a private garden earlier, being taken over by government, this large prime property is now saved. Dhaka had a prosperous Shia Muslim population in the older part of the city. Close to Dhaka Jail, an Imambara, which is known as Huseli Dalan, was built in 17th century. The historic architecture is a congregation place for Shia Muslim community, particularly during Muharram. In Dhaka, around 400,000 rickshaws carry passengers, thus being the most popular mode of transport in this densely populated city. In the hidden corners of Jigatola, there are rickshaw hubs, where the tricycle public transports are built, repaired and uniquely painted. This rickshaw painting art is already known in the arena of international popular art. However, this art form is dying out for decorating rickshaws in Dhaka.
Adjacent to Jigatala, Rai Bazaar is another older neighborhood in Dhaka. Fine potteries were crafted here for many generations. Now the earthen pots are just sold and not made here anymore. Most of the families involved in potteries have left Rai Bazaar. <laughs> It is often said the center of Bangladesh is Dhaka and Dhanmundi is the center of Dhaka. Built post partition in 1947, Dhanmundi used to be a residential area. Now this area is also commercial, cultural and educational hub. Throughout the day, long and widening lake in Dhanmundi attracts large number of people. This space being one of the most attractive hangarounds for them in the entire city of Dhaka. I've seen Boshundhara only over the last five years. If my memory serves me right, I have never crossed into this area in my childhood. I do remember my father saying that even 20-25 years ago, the place known as Boshundhara Gate was a low-lying waterlogged land. Across this area lay vast stretches of paddy fields, green and dark. I have climbed quite a few rooftops here. The views were diverse and splendid. Boshundhara is usually quiet, except in the mornings and late afternoons. If you know the right place to walk to, there are plenty of roads that will remind you of the boulevards from postcards. The gate is the place to go to if you have to shop for groceries, for clothes, books, fast food, Fuchka, electronics, just name it and it's there. From the famous Haji Biryani to the renowned Pizza Hut, you will find it all. Tea, coffee, adda, games, gyms and pool places along with every other basic need has this place bustling well into the night. And yet again, my vision of Boshundhara is the peaceful, quiet, familiar territory where you may fit in, no matter where in the world you come from. Just across the road is Kala Chandpur. A few decades back, this was perhaps a village, as the name suggests. When Dhaka city grew northward, it engulfed small villages along the way. Kalachandpur rose vertically. High-rise buildings replaced village hutments. Population grew many folds and to cater to them came many shops selling everything under the sky.
but like the old name, Kalachadpur. Some people from old village stayed back, humming to their old tea. With more than 18 million and growing population, Dhaka is enlarging itself every day. A new area is Matikata, an extension of Mirpur. Here what was a padifold yesterday has turned into a housing complex today. The swamps into highways and hutments into squanky schools for new urban population. Culture, people, history, neighborhood or architecture reflects how one city is different from another. How much of a familiarity the city of Dhaka retains will remain a challenge for the future.